Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello to all my enchanted beauties. How are you today? Um, as you can see, I'm getting ready to do like a zombie look. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I do this with um, the Elmer's glue and some toilet paper. And then I'm going to pause it, fan dry it, and then we'll do our zombie makeup so you can make you know, make yourself look gory, as you can see. It's just toilet paper, Elmer's glue, and I mixed a tiny bit of water in with it. And then you just keep going over the edges. Because you don't want it perfect. You want it to look like jagged skin. I'm sorry about that chair doing that. So we're going to work on this side. We have a round hole here. I was thinking maybe doing like something more closer to the nose. So I'm going to put a little bit of this. I just mixed it in a lid. And like I said, I put Elmer's glue and a little bit of water just to make it a little bit more runny so it dries quicker. So let's say we want to scar there. Let me see. You see how it bubbles up a little bit? It's because of the water in it, but it'll be okay. So, take a little tiny, tear a little piece of toilet paper off. Stick it on there. You're going to cover it with glue. It'll automatically start to try to roll and so I use just a stiff artist brush a paintbrush from Hobby Lobby or wherever Walmart just as long as it's a little more stiff then it's not real soft I'm gonna take the end and cut in see how I did that now take a little bit of glue and then just go underneath the edges, lift them up, make them all tattered looking. And if you want it like a little bit thicker, I just rip off tiny little pieces and add. If I want it raised up, you know, a little bit more raised up off the skin to make it look like a deep scar. That's a little bit too big. So then I just grab. Don't be afraid of the glue. It's Elmer's Kids Glue, school glue, in a bottle with an orange cup cap. And don't worry about like glue that gets down. It'll just bring more texture to your skin and make it look more um, real. See, and I just stick the paintbrush in and lift a little bit so it looks like it's deep. And then just smooth out the edges. So I got a bullet hole, I got scars. So we're, I'm going to pause this. Um, Make sure you go around the edges so that it stays. But I'm going to pause this and use my fan or maybe my blow dryer to dry it. And then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And um, it's pretty dry. It's not going anywhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some foundation on. And I'm just going to use regular foundation. I'm going to slide this mirror up a little bit so I can see. And get a little closer so you can see. Because on the one side of my face you won't be able to see real well, but we'll get to it. 
you're just going to go right over it with the foundation. And you could have put your foundation on ahead of time. I just don't because it doesn't seem like it wants to stick. And it doesn't matter because you're going to zombie it out anyway. So it doesn't have to be perfect. If you're wondering why I'm wearing the same shirt for the last three videos, it's because I I have a business and I babysit my granddaughter every other week and I don't, there's just not enough time to film so I try to, well what I've been trying to do is film a bunch of videos all at once and then just release them one a day. So see how I'm just covering that up with the foundation. And don't panic. I mean, if it would start to fall off or whatever, um, just grab your glue and just glue it back down. Like, see how that, from the toilet paper, it made it look like skin. Just leave that. That's cool looking. Makes it look like dead skin sticking up off your face. And you don't, your foundation doesn't have to be perfect. Just get the white toilet paper almost the color of your skin. Of course, it's going to be lighter. And like, see how the glue, it picks up, it's like, looks like dead skin. Leave that. All right. We got that done and what do we want to do around our eyes maybe some gray we'll use the Jeffree Star um, I don't know if the artistry has gray in it yes it does okay so we got the foundation on I hope you can see so you want to make yourself look kind of dead but kind of like you just became a zombie so we're going to use one of these yucky Jeffree Star brushes that I hate from Morphe I don't mind the ones that have the pink this one's okay that have the pink hairs on it but the ones with the white suck all right so we're going to go in with Vroom Vroom in the Artistry Palette. It's a gray. And we're just going to make our eyes like not perfectly covered, but just like, like you're like just tapping on. Like you're zombified. Like it's just go underneath your eye a little bit, take that broom broom. It can come down so you look dirty. I'm trying to do looks that I think everyone can do and put everything up in the air with the stuff that's going on. Why not have fun? I mean, even if you have. Just the people that live in your house or people that you know have tested negative. Come up. Okay, so we can just do some dirt here. See? Clean the brush off. Go into that dark brown on the bottom. Which I can't read. Hi, dude, on the bottom. It's like a dark brown. Just dip your brush in. Looks like it's dirty. It's easier just to get this part first.
see. And then we'll get to the wings. All right, so with a smaller, we want like a flat brush, small flat brush like that. See how it's shaped. All right, we're gonna do. We're gonna go into all the inside of the scar first. So we're gonna go in with. Fast lane at the bottom of the app, um, artistry palette that's it's black, and we're gonna go right inside. And make sure you're getting the edges. That's what I do. I go to the edges. See, I'm leaving a little bit in the middle. You can okay, so I'm going to do that to all the wounds. on the edge. And you can bring it out a little bit because you want to look like you're starting like you're starting to rot you know okay so there's that one See, and then I just start tapping it around a little bit. Because we are going to have to. Find a really deep red. To go in the center. And we can mix it now. So hold that brush to the side. This doesn't have a deep red in it. I think Jawbreaker does. And we'll go around that edge so it's not like lighter than your face. We'll make the edges dirty and yucca looking. Oh yeah. Either licorice or raspberry. I'm going to do a little bit of both. So I'm going to grab another flat brush. Another flat brush. And I'm going to go into... Raspberry, let me put that on my arm. Let me see what licorice looks like. I think we're going to go in with licorice. So. Now, I just want to get that color in the middle first. And you can even... Tap it around, see, on the outside. But I just want to get that red in there first, in the center. And again, I'm using licorice out of um, Jawbreaker. And I'm going to just keep doing that till I like deepen them with the red because you want it to look bloody like you just 
started rotting. So now I'm going over the black and all. I'm just going to run it down on the side of the brush. See how it picks up? You can't really see in this. I'll, I'll show you when I back up. So I'm taking the red licorice and going all around the, the wound openings. Just on the side of the brush, just running it down. Kind of like your dry brush in a painting. Okay. I'm going to clean my brush. And I'm going to go into Tasty, which is like a dark brown. And I'm going to dry brush across the skin around the edges. Okay. See, doesn't that look cool? All right, so that's pretty simple, basic, and you can go ham. You want to put green in? You, you know, I'm gonna do black eyeliner. Oh, that's purple. Hold on. I'm going to do some black eyeliner on the waterline. I'm not going to do my lashes. Alright, and I might, I'm going to take that flat brush that we did the, um, that we use the black and I'm gonna do like just around my eyes do you know, like my uh, lash line and water line I'm just gonna take that same brush because it doesn't need to be perfect so you just tap it on there Like I said, I'm not doing it perfect. Okay, so we have the gray. And the wounds are looking caca. So that's good. Now, you could either do... You could do toilet paper on your lips. I don't like doing that. So I think I'll just do a black lip. I have that Jeffree Star, uh, what the hell is it called? Soul Sucker. I can do that. But you can do something. I'm not going to do it perfect, okay? I'm just going to. See what I mean? Let it come out in the. Make like a frown if you can. And go in the creases. Okay. So it will be a sparkly. <laughs> sparkly. Zombie. Oh, and you can go down your neck, everything. And the, it comes off real easy. You just peel it off. You don't want to peel it off, soak your, you know, soak a hot washcloth, put over your face. But I got some, 
We're going to amp it up a notch. We're already up to 20 minutes, and I'm sorry. But I got this blood gel. So, if I can figure out how to get it open. Uh -oh. Oh, that's gross. Okay. Hold on, let me get a paint brush because I don't want to ruin my makeup brushes. Alright, so this is really gross looking. And it's gooey. So we're going to goop it in there. Look at that. Ew. Dig around the edges. I don't know what this is made of. I just know last year. Look how gross that is. I broke out from uh, face paint really bad. And it was from the Snazaroo, which I've used a lot. And I've never had a problem. And I just don't know. I don't know. And I love their product. But I'm just like dabbing that. So. Because it, it's kind of sticky. And it pulls out and it looks really gross. And it looks cool. Ooh, look at that. You can even put it on the corners of your mouth. Like you were eating brains. What? You. <laughs> Have fun with it. Okay, so that was the blood gel. Put that over here so it don't get all over my stuff. And there you have it. Zombie. Easy. Well, I want to thank you for watching. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, you can hit me up on IG at Mountain Witch Christine. And until the next time.